see these metal structures anywhere. The only surface structure report... The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. Hello, B. point you guess we have to be sure doctor well i'm at the first clear branching of these structures such as reported by dr gorski all right what happened next he followed the branch to the right another thing he reported was a massive vertical structure detected something. I see that in the readings. What is it exactly? Well, the structure from the notes... It fits the description perfectly. Well done, B. I knew I could count on you. Well, we didn't bring it to the surface for no reason. Even in the first stage procedure. Well, now I'm gonna apply for my own. As soon as you find Dr. Gorski, I'll see to it myself. All right, how about that point? What does it look like? What caught the doctor's attention? It looks like some kind of organic formation. A root system? Maybe these structures have the ability to expand. Somehow. Shouldn't they be organic, then? Ah. That's the problem. They look organic, but they're not. The next point, the third one, is a metal bundle running along the bottom of some water reservoir. Interesting. An object as such should be easy to locate. A rush. Um, uh, that was for the probe. Excuse me. Is up the bottom. Before you ask, sir, there's little to say about it. All right. So how many are left? Two points. Or at least that's what he told Koval. What he did next? It's hard to assess. Well, the battery and the detector last for only a few hours, so he couldn't have gone much further.
The fourth point is a structure that fills a rock massive, on top of which he found surface structures. Sounds like a crucial node in this whole system. his tracks. Finally, some tangible evidence that he was going this way. Ah, good. It's downhill all the way, Doctor. I wouldn't be so sure, Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. I think we have the fourth point. I confirm. It's the fourth one. I see our flag. Definitely uphill. What if I don't find him at all? You will. Just follow his tracks carefully. According to our records, it's been no more than six hours since he was here. Think about it, Doctor. On a cosmic scale, it's nothing. Well, on a human scale, it could mean the difference between life and death. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just... takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Status? Nothing's changed, Astrogator. Understood. The structures undergo noticeable changes here. If it keeps growing at this rate, I don't know what I'll find at the end. What kind of growth are you talking about, Doctor? Depth, width, complexity level? In every aspect. Interesting. Do you think these veins lead somewhere? To something? I'm leaning more and more towards that conclusion. But I can't tell what we might expect at the end. If it ends at all. Three, two, one. Ah, 
I've reached the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Oh, I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovel and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. The land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Wait. Kovel noted down the parameters. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. Certain, proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. Azimus 350. A distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe now. the bushes and the doctor mm, hard to tell visibility is poor uh, it's gonna be harder than before i don't know how the doctor <sighs> when it comes to finding a safe route there won't be a problem but you'll have to get there on your own two feet i suppose the probe will carry out the first task it's capable yet of course i said the environment analysis mode the probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. Be lead the way. Wow. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. He can not fly for this long. That's longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. Of course, I wasn't being serious. However helpful they may be, they're still just tools in the hand of man, often faulty. Oh, we have a problem. Something serious? I already mentioned the faulty machines, right? Well... The route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> can you imagine us, protonaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No. Not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Oh, have you started to fear for your position? <sighs> well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? Well, if we assume that they'll surpass us, things will get complicated. Because in order to program a brain with computing power equal to that of a human, you need a brain with computing power higher than that of a human. Ergo, a man cannot make a machine smarter than a man. Then who else would design it? Self-learning algorithms, some spontaneous process, or pure chaos, something inhuman. That's for sure. Shh. Astrogator. Can you hear that? Uh, 
what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. Dr. Gorski? Are you here somewhere? These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush like formations. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So we will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Please continue your search. We have to find it. That's the unwritten rule, isn't it? Under no circumstances do we leave anyone behind. That's right, Doctor. You can lose everything else, but you have to have the crew on board. The living and the dead. This is one of the most crucial imperatives, even though it's not in the regulations. Okay, back to the topic. They can be singular, though in some locations they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush-like layer. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? Staying on the topic of biological analogies, these bushes remind me of corals in a purely visual category because they're far from marine organisms. So I would guess that these are colonial structures, perhaps rock forming ones. However, their main structure has nothing to do with corals. No noticeable mesenchymal tissues, no nidocyst, matocyst, or spirocyst, no visible oral discs. All right, all right, Doctor. I didn't ask for a marine biology lecture. Status? What's new? Well, nothing, really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Huh? Right. Thank you.
Bina. Everything's all right? Yes. Yes. I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as you find something... I'll report it. No worries, sir. This mission drags on so much. Sometimes I think you're gonna take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. Legs feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. The line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel.
Hopper has landed. I repeat, Hopper has landed. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you? All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. Hundred percent. The dust has already settled. Huh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Sir, Dragonfly. Something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. I'm inside. And? How is it? Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly. Or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened. But that means... Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Right. But then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. Astrogator, I think... I don't know what we expected. Coming here at the end of our expedition. The equipment is barely working. If it works at all. And you, sir. You barely escaped alive. Okay, I admit that we have a very successful campaign behind us. But I feel like we've used up all our luck. And now, we're asking for trouble. It's just one planet too many for us. Which doesn't change the fact we're here. Let's focus on completing this mission. There won't be another. It better be that way. We have the right to come home at last. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with such a law. But there is one thing I can refer to when we find ourselves in a difficult situation. If the continuation of the mission endangers the lives of the crew, the provisions of the Imprimis Homini law apply. First and foremost, the safety of people is what matters. It's good to know we have this right. I wish we didn't have to use it. Whoa. Damn. You were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. Step at a time. Yes, not. One step at a time.
Landed. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you? All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. I'm going outside. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try Sir, to fly something's off. something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. I'm inside. And? How is it? For now... We have to assume that we are left with only one lander. Is it that bad? You don't need to be a technician to see that Beetle's lost its buzz. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I'm taking Hopper out of here. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time. That's normal. But now... Go ahead. What's bothering you? This lack of communication. It takes too long. Especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes. It worries me too. Whoa. Damn. You were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. an object in sight. This is where they searched the ocean's biosynosis. Meaning, oh, where they call that fish, right? Mm, yeah. They stopped here first, then walked along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east, straight to the camp. Copy that. Heading east. <sighs> they stop for a break. How do you know? Are there any signs of the crew? Some slob left litter here. Had no respect for an alien ecosystem at all. What kind of litter? Cigarette butt. A crumpled pack. So, oh, taking off the helmet for no good reason. Risk of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Irresponsible spreading of DNA. Compared to this, the damage of an already extinct ecosystem is basically a negligible issue. It's just, apart from keeping our crew safe, I also have academic concerns. That's completely understandable, Doctor. However, we must focus on the mission. It has the highest priority, always. Excuse my interruption, sir. 
Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This way to reach the camp within an hour. So, continue. Forgive me, but such thinking is an anti-example of the galactocentric code. We should explore other worlds, while keeping our own interference to a minimum. Whether in the solar system, in the far reaches of the Milky Way, or in a completely different galaxy. Now, I've heard a thing or two about galactocentrism. Do not meddle in other non-human matters. Seize the void, but do not attack that which has developed its own equilibrium over millions of years. Do not consider anything other than human as either better or worse. It all sounds beautiful, Doctor. But no one will be satisfied with a void or someone else's well-being. In my opinion, this is an idealized doctrine of scientists. We spend most of their lives idly gazing at the sky. Like me? Not at all. You are actively involved in space exploration, Doctor. <sighs> this path <laughs> is not the easiest one. Oh, at least I'm moving onward. At the military academy, they used to say that difficult routes lead us the farthest. Well, hopefully not too far. You still have to come back. Are you trying to motivate me, sir? Of course. I appreciate the, uh, effort. structure it looks like some spiky metal growth artificial plants is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure i've never seen anything like this i wish i had time to run some tests when the situation is stabilized we will take samples oh i feel nauseous suddenly <laughs> that's not it i feel Are you there? Over. <sighs> I guess that's a no. Three. What's going on, sir? Astrogator? Dr. Yasna. I tried to resuscitate him, but... <sighs> no, please. Koval? Nothing wrong with him. Hypervolemic shock. He bled out during the flight. I still don't understand. He wasn't hurt. His injuries must have occurred later. I found him like this when I entered Hopper. I can't believe it. It was that damn robot. He must have dropped the doctor. Killed him. No, Yasna, I, as commander, misjudged the situation. Everything indicates that the Doctor had an accident after he left the camp on his own. I should have known he was endangering himself. Guess I know where Gorsky was going. I confirm, Gorsky was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. 
That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> Why hasn't he yet? Going down after him. Uh, tell me one thing, sir. What did you do with Crompton's body? I placed him in a quiet chamber. Are you going to use a grave tapper? Yes. I'm considering that as a possibility. What is your opinion? Should we look into their heads? The more we learn. Oh, I'm at the end of the rope. Isn't that good? Not at all. What do you mean? I'm stuck. I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. Can you go back? Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight. No, not a chance. What if you swing? I, I can just jump off. Is that safe? A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking... If Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that yet. He could keep going even with injuries. <sighs> All right, so do you have another idea? Oh, will I be hanging like this until the end of time itself? There is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. I'm listening. Can you see the probe? Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. All right. Let's give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. Two meters forward. Stop, that's enough. You have a really good eye. Exactly two meters. <laughs> say so <sighs> I fell from a lower height it was a soft landing though Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Damn. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Uh, maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. Sir, he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Are you joking, Doctor? Lost himself, Gorski. 
He may not have respect for the unknown, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. Should be looking for a way back by now. I think he must have discovered something. And since he suffers from excess... at a time. That's where I came from. Where now? seems to be slipping through my fingers like sand. So much sand. You're so tired, Yasna. <sighs> because I am tired, Astrogata. Traces, this time handprints, and a drop detector. What did I hear you right? Yes, sir, you heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find him, Doctor. something again I'm a 
More of the same stuff. Gorski's things. More traces. Fine. Actions devoid of logic. Back in the camp, you reported Maris abandoned things. A backpack and a journal, yes. Ah! Ouch! Jasna, what is it? I took a shortcut. On purpose? Uh, not really. Finally, I have his position. Uh, not yet. Almost there. Oh, there he is. I see him. Yeah. Got him. He's not moving. Closed. Is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did he react in any way? No reaction. He seems unconscious. Gorski, come on. Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a man. Activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. Transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? No, no point. Better to send the relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Have a quick scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The probe will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I want you out, Jasper. Keep free. The doctor won't carry you. The membrane looks intact. What did you say? I didn't hear you. In the lander, my friend. I'll hook you up in the lander. I still can't see something. It's nothing, Astrogator. Only static. Are you out? 
in the open already? Sort of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should start receiving Gorski's signal. Okay. <laughs> 